Hello and welcome back to 305 Tech. If this is your first time here, welcome. If this is not your first time here, welcome back. So Lenovo is starting to ship out the next generation laptops with the new Intel 12th generation Core i7. In this case, we have the all new Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga Generation 7 in storm gray. In this video, we're going to unbox the laptop, do first impressions, and also see if we can upgrade the hard drive. So the very first thing that I can notice is that Lenovo, at least on this model, they have completely changed the presentation. This is a lovely, it looks like cardboard or recycled cardboard molding of some sort, but I think it looks great. And as you can see there, it says recycled. So definitely kudos to Lenovo for moving more towards recycled material. Very good. On the left side, we see two Thunderbolt ports. This is also the primary charging port, a USB type A. I believe this is a USB 3.2, five gigabit per second rate, a full size HDMI port. And on the left side, we see, we start with a Kensington security lock port, another USB type A. I believe this is another five gigabit per second USB type A port a headphone jack, and also a stylus, which uh, as you can see has some type of uh, contact there. I believe this is probably to charge a stylus and it has two buttons. The quality in this laptop is great. The keyboard is a bit shorter than the previous Lenovo keyboards. However, they feel really good and I will put them on par with, uh, actually, I, I think I like these a bit more than the new MacBook Air keyboard. This is the power button, which also works as a fingerprint reader. Now let's go over the official specs for this laptop. Again, this is a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga Generation 7 in a 14 inch screen in color Storm Gray. This laptop is equipped with a 12th generation Intel Core i7 1270p, which has a combination of E cores and P cores, 12 cores, 16 threads in total with 18 megabytes of cache. This laptop comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR5, 5200 megahertz RAM. And of course, due to the form factor and how thin it is, you cannot upgrade this memory since it is soldered onto the RAM and there are no expansion slots. If you stick around to the end of the video, I am also going to open the bottom and see what upgrades can be done to it. So stay tuned. The display is a 14 inch IPS with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. It is anti-reflective, anti-smudge, and it has 400 nits of brightness. This laptop is also equipped with a webcam which supports 1080p resolution and also has a privacy slider, which means you no longer have to put a band-aid on the front of your camera like some people do. Just do this little slider right here. As I mentioned earlier, the quality of this laptop is great. This magnesium type of material feels amazing against the skin. The trackpad feels nice and smooth.
let's take a look at the charger that it comes with. So the charger is the all too familiar 65 watt USB-C that a lot of Lenovo's come with. And this is great because you can use a universal docking station and through a single port, you could essentially power your entire desk. So let's go ahead and remove the bottom lid. As always, I am using my handy iFixit toolkit. This is a great investment. If you don't have one of these, I strongly recommend you getting one. It might save your life one day. And here we are. As I mentioned earlier, there are no RAM expansion slots as the RAM is soldered onto the motherboard. However, we can upgrade the hard drive. And also I see a second slot here, which I think in theory, we should be able to add a secondary hard drive if we wanted to. Now I'm going to be using my favorite hard drive at the moment, which is the Samsung 980 Pro. This laptop does support PCIe Gen 4. And as you can see, this drive can do up to 7,000 megabytes or seven gigabytes per second throughput, which is again, pretty much as, as fast as you can get today. This is a two terabyte drive. And as I've mentioned in some of my previous videos, it's much cheaper to buy the laptop and then do this upgrade on your own. So let's go ahead and uh, get this drive installed. So this laptop is, uh, is shipping out of the factory with a Samsung PCIe Gen 4 drive. Essentially almost the same as this, but not quite. Let's go ahead and uh, install our new drive. Okay, we're done here. Okay, now the very last step is we have to reinstall the operating system. This laptop ships from Lenovo with Windows 11 Pro. I am not yet using Windows 11 Pro. I am not interested in using Windows 11 Pro at the moment. So I'm just going to be installing Windows 10 Pro. Now, if you are interested in using Windows 11 Pro or Windows 11, all you would need to do is clone the data from this hard drive onto the hard drive and the motherboard. And the software that I normally use to clone data is Acronis. I've been using it for years and you create a bootable USB drive and boot straight from it. All right, guys, this concludes this video. If you stay with me all the way through, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. I appreciate all the new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I do read all your comments and try to reply as much as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. And also very important, please click the like button. It does help me with the YouTube algorithm. If you are interested in doing a similar setup with a Samsung drive or any of my tools, please see my affiliate links in the description below. This is Will from 305 Tech. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.